I tried out five different instant pho products that are available to me here in Germany. Let's see what I like the most and the least. Coming in last is this product due to its artificial yet bland taste from flavor enhancers. The noodle looks almost the same size as other products, but the texture somehow is thicker and more starchy. The pho aroma is not quite noticeable. The broth is slightly spicy and the meat has the texture of an eraser so it does not add any value to the dish. This product on fourth place is not the most expensive one but has the most value because the quantity of noodle is more than that of all others and it also claims to have real meat in it. The texture and chewiness of this noodle and of the remaining products are really similar which is not too thick or too thin so the difference will only lie in the broth and garnishes. The taste and the texture of the meat is more like stew beef. The broth is okay with a nice color but again we reminds me of stew beef. This product is from the same brand as the last one but it's much cheaper. It doesn't taste similar though. I can definitely taste flavor enhancers in this but the broth overall is closer to real fur and less bland than the fifth place. Coming in second, this product has faked meat that has the same rubbery texture as the third and fifth. The broth does not give off the authentic pho aroma as much. The taste is still kind of artificial but less bland. The chili sauce does make it better though. And my most favorite instant pho out of the five is sadly the most expensive one. The reason for this is it has the most authentic pho aroma and taste. Upon opening the seasoning packet, I can already smell all the pho spices. The garnish packet has carrots that is not a component of authentic pho. The beef pieces are tiny, the noodle is chewy and of the right mass, the broth is savory, somehow it's color and also it tastes darker than usual so there might be soy sauce in it which actually wouldn't be authentic but still this is the least artificial pho I tried out. Five black bean noodles that are quite different in their nature. Like this one is supposed to be a bit sweeter, this one must be extremely spicy, or this one is a combination of noodle and rice cake. I like all kind of flavors as long as they are not overdone slash enjoyable. With that being said, here are my least to most favorite black bean noodle out of the five. This noodle is overly sweet and powdery, definitely not worth the price. This noodle starts with a weird smell and ends with a weird aftertaste. It's much better when cooled out though. This one is quite balanced, a bit oilier and if eaten cold then a bit dry but overall a good option. This noodle is actually the cheapest. The noodle is really chewy, thick but not starchy and not oily at all. This looks and tastes the most like the real dish. The flavor packet has large chunks of veggies I guess. It also smells nicer than the others. 5 different yakisoba or Japanese stir fried noodle. I would like to try out even more products but this is all I could find locally. So let's find out if quality over quantity is true in this case. Landed at number 5, this noodle is easy to prepare and also the cheapest but it's quite dry and a tad bitter. 4th and 3rd place are very similar in taste, they both require actual frying but the other noodle could also be microwaved instead so it's placed higher due to more convenient preparation. I contemplated a while whether this noodle should be the best out of the five because it tastes almost as good as the first place but half the price. In the end, I just rank them based on their flavors to not overcomplicate things. Overall, I don't think I have found an outstanding noodle to recommend though, especially because I did come across better yakisoba before which I sadly cannot find here. I don't get why people love this noodle so much, that's why today not only am I gonna give this another try, but also all other noodles of the same product line. First, the problem I had with this noodle was that first bites always had this weird smell and taste. Turns out I might have not stirred the noodle long enough for the sauce to be fully absorbed, which honestly is a weird problem that I never have with any other instant noodles, but at least by correcting that, I can now have more than just a few bites out of this. Second, I prepare the noodles exactly how they are intended to be and use all the sauce. With all that given, here is how I like the noodles. 
and it at last places are these two that are supposed to be triple or twice as spicy as the original one. Since my tongue was burned so bad, even if the noodles were yummy, I couldn't taste or notice it anyway, so why even bother? Next is the cheese version. As an Asian, cheese is something that I can't say the more the better. It just has to be the right amount for the dish to be delicious, and unfortunately, I find this noodle to be too cheesy or a bit much for my taste. Placed at 7th is this lime noodle. The concept of lime noodle is rather strange to me. It's sour and spicy at the same time, which are normally my favorite flavors. This particular combination doesn't work that well for me. Place 6 is this curry spicy noodle. Good thing is the curry does cover most of the weird smell and taste, and the bad thing is I don't have anything else to say about it. Next is the spicy black bean noodle. It's a bit sweet, spicy as all. Always. Coming in fourth place is the original noodle. This reminds me of another Korean instant noodle that is much much less spicy. So even though it's not bad, outside of this ranking, I would actually go for the other noodle instead. Top 3 is the only noodle that is not stir fried in the whole line and somehow makes it a bit more special. The soup does help with the spiciness a bit that I can almost finish this in one sitting. Second place is the kimchi version that has more texture added to it by the veggie flakes. It's also not super spicy, a tad sour even. And ta-da! My favorite noodle out of the whole product line is this caponara noodle that is just so creamy, not cheesy or overly spicy. It's the only noodle that I can really enjoy all the flavors and can still feel my tongue. I would definitely go back to this once in a while, yet it still doesn't make top 5 of my all-time favorite instant noodle 